Hey everyone, it's Maria, and today I'll be painting on a hummingbird feeder. So I hope you guys all enjoy. So for materials, I have pencil and eraser, a pencil sharpener and exacto knife, which is optional, PBO relief outliner. PBO Vitrail Discovery Set Glass Paints Gamblin Gamasol And a Hummingbird Feeder So right here I have my drawing drawn out And my idea with this was that I fold it and put it inside of the glass So that way I have my design visible so I could trace over with the black outliner and right here I'm just tracing over my design with the black outliner and honestly it was quite hard <laughs> I've never worked with this medium before so getting a thin consistent line was a little bit difficult but the gamasol really helped with erasing unwanted lines. So yeah, just takes some getting used to, I guess. And just a fun fact, I'm doing this for my mom for a Mother's Day gift. She is super into hummingbirds and hummingbird feeders right now, so it's a perfect gift. <laughs> So right here, I'm adding the color and it was really interesting, the consistency of these paints are very thin and transparent, but you can build up the layers if you wanted to. I'm just starting off with the clouds first, I decided to go on with the blue and then I'm working on the stem and also sorry for this angle, it is honestly quite awkward to work on a circular glass surface <laughs> but yeah I'm just beginning to fill in the hummingbirds and how I applied the paint was I applied it all in one layer and then I I kind of waited for it to dry a little bit and then went back and applied a second coat and I found that that looked kind of more opaque-ish <laughs> but also still kind of transparent and giving it that like stained glass type of look. And for my design, the idea was very kind of basic. I just got I just looked up like pictures of hummingbirds and I picked three different ones in three different positions. I placed them and then I added some flowers and I added some clouds too to fill in kind of like the, the blank space. But yeah, you could also print out a design and then fold it and put it inside the glass too if you wanted to. Probably be way easier. <laughs> But yeah, just my, I guess, thought process in my design. It's not too crazy, but it's not too plain either.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out sparkgift.com for full online art courses. Bye everyone.